Hello and welcome to the Emirates Stadium in London, North London, the home of Arsenal Football Club. However, today I will not be watching Arsenal Football Club. I will be watching the English Rugby League team play against the Samoan Rugby League team in a World Cup semi-final. Should be fun at the Emirates Stadium. And it's the trophy that they're all playing for. You won't see this lifted some today. It'll be lifted next week at Old Trafford. Whoever will win this game today, either England or Samoa, will play Australia in the final. And whoever wins that game will lift that trophy. Well, not that one, but something that looks like that. Spoiler alert, England's going to win today. Just saying. So yeah, I'm just outside the clock end right now. It's named after the legendary clock that used to be a Arsenal's old ground, Highbury, a few years back. And when that ground got knocked down, they took the clock and put it in a museum and replaced it with a new one. And this is where you will find the new clock. It's bigger and it's clockier, I assume. So yeah, clock end. Not bad. This right here is a statue of Herbert Chapman. 1925-1934 he was Arsenal manager from. He's legendary because he won Arsenal's first major tournaments, first major silverware. Two first division titles, which is like the Premier League back then, and also an FA Cup. Up until then, Arsenal won fuck all. And then this guy came along. I don't know if you'll see it because it's a bit bright, but um, there's a few uh, legendary Arsenal players from the past, like Lee Dixon and Joe Mercer. I know this guy, he used to play for Everton. Genial and evergreen, the grocer from the Wirral skippers Arsenal to an FA Cup success and two league titles despite signing in the twilight of his career. I tell you, you can't do nothing without a Merseyside. And there they are there. So yeah, this is just outside the East Stand. There's not much here really, but in the southeast portion of the East Stand, this is where you will find the away end. Apparently the vision's not brilliant, but they are going to upgrade at some point. So yeah, East Stand. The parlour, the Romford Pele. Energy and endeavour across 466 appearances. Nine major honours and that goal in the 2002 FA Cup Final. There he is right there, looking like every female PE teacher ever. So yeah, this is the North Bank. Which is... It's not the most important stand of the ground, but... You know, I'm sure it has some importance if you're a die-hard Arsenal fan, just like every other stand in Arsenal's history. So yeah, Tony Adams, former Arsenal captain from 83 to 2002, heart on his sleeve, demanding the best from himself and those around him. Leadership, inspiration and commitment 669 times. Liam Brady with the most elegance of left feet. If you're a foot fetish, you should probably like this guy. Took to the field 307 times, an FA Cup winner and a midfield maestro, 59 goals and several other assists from 73 to 1980. And there's our man Thierry Henry. The most lethal goal scorer to play for Arsenal. 226 game goals in 370 games, two League Cups, three FA Cups, speed, accuracy, gave many a defender a sleepless night. For many, he was the best there was, and I'd probably agree with that. And there's a statue of the aforementioned Tony Adams. And there's a statue to a guy named Ken Fryer, OBE. Not a footballer or anything like that. He just worked for the club for many, many years, a loyal servant and one of the many unsung heroes that these clubs have. It's not all about multi-millionaires and sports cars, it's people like George, sorry, Ken. Yeah, Ken Fryer. <laughs> See, he is an unsung hero, I keep forgetting his name. But yeah, uh, it's people like that that keep these things going. So yeah, there's a museum over here, which you've got to pay to get into. And the last one I went to was the Hearts game. I didn't have some place to get in their museum, so they can go fuck themselves. And there's the Camden Town Brewery, little kiosk there. Never had a Camden Town beer before, but it will at some point. Look out for that review. This is the legendary statue of the legendary Dennis Bergkamp. 
probably the greatest midfielder ever to grace an Arsenal pitch possibly even the best greatest midfielder to grace a Premier League pitch um, from Arsenal sorry he played for Arsenal from 1995 to 2006 won every single honour domestically he could if he hadn't played for Arsenal he would have probably won a European one as well um, and if he hadn't been Dutch he would have probably won a World Cup just saying so yeah that's the west stand that's where you'll find the player tunnel the director's box and um, the armory club shop which I've just been in before so yeah that's the west stand right there um, yeah there's, there's there's loads of hospitality areas it's like a big ring around the grounds and there's a prawn sandwich stand just, just, and uh, I don't know why she ducked I could still see yeah um, <laughs> I appreciate the politeness, but yeah, um, and yeah, there's a big prawn sandwich thing around the ground as well. But the top two stands, the upper and the lower, that's where all the real fans are, rather than just the prawn sandwich twats. So yeah, two cannons, the emblems of Arsenal. Arsenal means like cannons and guns, and that doesn't. It? That's what they're named after. Uh, so yeah, made in the Royal Gun Foundry. On the Royal Arsenal Woolwich, they originally came from South London, didn't they? And then moved up north, and it was quite controversial because Tottenham fans seen their arse over it, and a rivalry was born, and the rest is history. So yeah, there's the cannons here. Not bad. This is the club shop right here. There's loads of jerseys. Is that one there? Not bad. Pretty big. It's called the Armory, apparently named after like something to do with Arsenal or something or whatever I don't get it Gunnosaurus the Arsenal mascot it's basically a big dinosaur that wears an Arsenal jersey that's it really some retro jerseys here not bad some sunglasses bags cups and some scarves and an unnamed bear which is not really a mascot it's just a bear with an Arsenal scarf on and a badge. Hooray. So here we are in the concourse of the North Block. The game will be starting in about 45 minutes. So to our seat, I will quote a famous AFTV legend and I will say, It's time to go, oh boy. Where's the North Bank? Arsenal. So yeah, here we are. I'm at a stadium. 60,704 seats in here. There's the clock ends over there. I'm in the north bank right here. There's the east stand right there. And there's the west stand over there. You probably see the uh, selection box and the players in it. And obviously, it's the clock. That's the last of the clock stand. If this sunlight isn't too oppressive, which it is, fifth largest stadium in England. And as of right now, probably the brightest. Hopefully this video comes out well. Yeah, so as I was saying before, the top stands, that's the, the real fans are. Bottom stands, same. Middle two stands are a bit more prone sandwich. You've got like, you know, the executive areas and the VIP section. And that one just smaller stand just above. There's like a little bit of a couple of padded seats. I'm not sure you can see it, but yeah. It's, uh, it's not a bad stadium at all. I like it. Must admit that's the sun I'm not liking that though. I can't see a thing right now. It's hard to believe it's again November. So bright. So hot. The shop of buttons have melted with it.
four now. And I can finally see that sun has finally set up.
Tarnished the Judah. They have men over and he just threw it off the floor. Terrible. Is it good? Yes it is. 16 from Samoa.
Okay. We'll level a score. For us at 20 all. There we go. And it's good. 20 all.
over! It's all over! Samoa has won! I will never be a fortune teller. I said they wouldn't. But they fucking done it. England are out. Samoa will play Australia in the final. And the English look absolutely broken. And I don't blame them. Lose that at all in the most cruelest way imaginable. But Samoa will play Australia in the Rugby League World Cup final in Manchester next week. What a fucking game. What a game that was. So yeah, England versus Samoa, the Emirates Stadium. What a game.